Okay, guys, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be one of those ones, you know, it's going to be a little crazy. It's going to be a little, uh, controversial and so on. Okay, so just, uh, bear with me and listen, take notes if you want. Uh, or or turn it off if you want one or the other one way or the other I'm gonna do this video this video is gonna be crazy now two nights ago I started putting puzzle pieces together you know me right I'm always thinking about stuff so I wanted to do this video because I think there's something to this. Not not because I, I, you know, not because I'm crazy, but because I really think that there is something to this. So, over the past three years, a lot of people have noticed a lot of things going on in the world concerning... Uh, earthquakes, you know, there are people that are following earthquakes like crazy out there. You know, earthquakes here, earthquakes there, this magnitude, that magnitude, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there have been, obviously, storms. Uh, most storms are really nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I've been through a lot of storms myself. Uh, you know, I've, I've been through uh, heavy, heavy storms at sea and and uh, things like that. You know, I mean, the, the the ocean is a very powerful thing. When you see those waves coming, and I mean, it it you better be somewhere where you're not going to get washed overboard. You know what I mean? So. But getting back to this video, um, the whole reason why I brought that up about storms and, and waves and all that sort of thing is because uh, you'll, it's going somewhere concerning, concerning the moon, okay? So the reason why I'm bringing up this stuff with the with the oceans and the waves and the, all that and the earthquakes is because uh, we talk of, talk about these things often separately in cons concerning uh, the end times in uh, in in the book you know in the Bible so uh, we see talk about uh, the end in Matthew 24, and then Luke, and, and obviously in Revelation, and, the, and in the book of Daniel, and so on, but, and we see all of these cataclysmic things happening, but a lot of people are like, well, how is that going to happen? How is that going to happen, right? How, how is, how is, how are all of these Disaster is going to happen. I mean, what's going to cause them? So, the past three or four years, people have been talking about how bright the moon is. The moon's really bright. I don't know how many times I've had people tell me about the moon. How bright it is. How much larger it looks sometimes. It really looks large up in the sky. Like it, you know, it shouldn't be that large. But I think that I figured out what's going on. Or at least I've figured out enough to give someone who's been actually studying on all of this for a while something else to go on. But... The moon causes the tides. The tides come in, the tides go out. The tides come in, the tides go out. So.
So we see this, and we see this, the moon cycle. It's on an orbit. It's on an orbit around this globe of an Earth. And it has its cycles. And it has its movements, right? We, we know this because we've, we've been there. We've seen stuff. We've done measurements. We've done calculations. There's this thing called math. Okay, I mean, you can see it as far back as like Stonehenge and all that. You know, they were watching celestial bodies and so forth. And the thing is, is that God gave us the celestial bodies to, to have a calendar, you know, by and so on. That's, that's right there, right there in Genesis. So, what does all this mean? It means that the moon, in my opinion, has direct influence on the cataclysms that have been foretold about in, in, in the Bible. The moon. And then you're going to say, well, why the moon? Why not something else? Because, just like a couple days ago, I, I was sent some information from someone. They said, hey, look, they, they, they saw these anomalies in the oceans near Antarctica and off of the coast of South America and stuff where the waves, the, the ocean's depth, you know, the, 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 the front, let's say right here is the top of the water, it fell and raised 2,000 feet, right? And then all of these tsunamis and stuff that have been uh, coming about more and more often over the past few years. So those are caused, small, small things are caused by the moon, regular stuff, right? Regular tides, regular raising and lowering of the sea, you know, up and down and all that because of the moon's movement, right? Just regular stuff. But you don't see all of these wild swings unless there's something going on. For instance, here is the moon, right? As we would normally view the moon from the earth, here is the moon. And why do we see the moon? We see the moon because the moon reflects light from the sun. So the sun's over here out of view, photons hit the moon, and we see that reflected light, okay? That's, that's why we see the moon. We would not see the moon if the sun didn't reflect off of it. Now, if, the, if, if we're still here at our same point of view, right, this is us, right, Earth. We're here, this is our same point of view of the moon, and it looks that big instead of that big. If it looks that big, right, instead of that big, what does this tell us? What does this tell us? We haven't moved, but the moon looks that big. That tells us that the moon is now closer to us than it was at that point in time. And that means that the orbit has changed. It means it's getting closer to the earth. Right? So as it gets closer to the earth, we're going to have wild swings in in things like the ocean. We're going to see more hurricanes. We're going to see more water spouts. We're going to see more tsunamis. We're going to see big stuff. And we will also see more earthquake activity and on a larger scale. And the closer that this thing gets, likely the more wild it's going to get. Okay. Uh, this, these are just 
observations that I have made. If I'm wrong, you can call me out on it. Just email me and say, hey, you're wrong about this. But you know what? You better be a scientist or something, okay? You better be a scientist or you better have some really good information that says otherwise. But uh, this is what I think, all right? Now, what else? What happened the other day? What happened the other day? We had the eclipse, okay, on 4-8, okay? And the previous Friday, three days previous, was an earthquake here in the northeast, a 4.8 on the Richter scale. 4.8 earthquake on the Richter scale three days later, which also, by the way, that happened to be the Friday... 1,994 years from Jesus' uh, crucifixion that Friday. So three days from then, three days came out of the tomb back in the day. Now, <clears throat> three days later, we got this eclipse. Now, to, valid, to help to validate this size thing, right, is this moon closer? Let's look at the eclipse. In no time in all of the decades that I have been alive, I'm, you know, I'm old, I'm not ancient, but I am old. In all of the decades that I have been alive, I have never experienced an eclipse other than a situation where the moon covered the sun but you could still see the sun's corona, a corona of the sun behind the moon. Every eclipse that I've ever experienced, and I've experienced full ones, that has been the situation. And it was still daylight outside. It was still day, a little shadowy, but that's it. You know, you had to look through a welding uh, lens, uh, you know, for a quick look. Or you had to do this thing with papers or the cereal box, whatever. But the other day, we had people who were sitting out in lawn chairs in the United States. And they said it got so dark. And there were time-lapse films of this, too. This is, not, this is not hearsay. They said it got so dark they could see stars. What does that tell you? That tells you if, if there is an eclipse and the moon is closer to us than it used to be, that means the moon is going to appear larger to us and the sun will be smaller. So as the moon goes in front of the sun, it will totally black it out because it's closer. Okay? It's closer. So this, this size thing, uh, you know, this blacking out of the sun, practically a complete blackout, right, outside, people seeing stars and stuff, this tells me that the moon is closer than it used to be. We're going to come back in video two because I'm not done yet. See you there.